Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. Prion is a next generation cross margin lending protocol coming soon to the Polygon network and to other chains as part of Sphere's liquidity as a service. Among other things, you will be able to use Prion to take loans against your own collateral at a 0% interest. I want to take time to break down this process to describe how collateralized lending works, including the risks and benefits. Then in a follow-up video, I'll describe how leveraging works. But first, if you haven't already, subscribe. It helps support the channel, and by ringing the bell, you will automatically be notified when we create new content. Collateralization is the use of a valuable asset, such as wrapped ETH, USD+, Plus, or a stablecoin LP to secure a loan. For example, you could use your Penrose stablecoin LP as collateral to take out a loan that is typically up to 70 to 90% of the value of your collateral. So, if you have a $1,000 Penrose stablecoin LP, you could deposit this as collateral on Prion to borrow anywhere from zero to $900. The exact loan specifications of Prion, with the exception of its 0% interest rate, are not set in stone. Stay tuned here and in the announcements section of the Sphere Finance Discord for more information. This is just an example to help give you an idea of how collateralization works. This concept is not unique to DeFi. In fact, collateralization is the basis of home mortgages and car loans, and is also a common financial tool for businesses because it allows them to use valuable assets to acquire loans to expand or improve their businesses without having to sacrifice or sell their yield-bearing assets. Therefore, the benefit of taking out a collateralized loan is exactly that. You do not have to sell your valuable or yield-bearing assets in order to gain temporary access to liquid capital. Using a Penrose LP as an example, if you deposit that LP into Prion, you are still earning the Dystopia and Penrose rewards from your LP. In other words, you are still able to earn yield from your investment. In addition, you gain the ability to borrow upwards of 90% of your money to use as you see fit bearing in mind that you will need to repay what you borrow when you want to retrieve your initial deposited collateral. In traditional finance, most collateralized loans charge anywhere from 3 to 36% annual interest on the amount that is borrowed. In contrast, Prion will charge 0% interest and instead generates revenue for its governance stakers from small fees. Of course, there is still a risk to taking collateralized loans. Let's say you use $1,000 of wrapped ETH as collateral to borrow $500 worth of stablecoins. If the price of wrapped ETH increases, you have nothing to worry about because the value of your wrapped ETH will exceed the amount you took out as a loan. However, if the price of wrapped ETH decreases, you will be at risk for liquidation. There is a certain threshold, called the liquidation threshold, where if the price of wrapped ETH falls too low in our example, then Prion will be forced to seize ownership of your collateral in order to cover the amount that you had borrowed. Continuing with our example, let's say the liquidation threshold for your wrapped ETH position is $520. If, in this bear market, the value of your deposited wrapped ETH drops from $1,000 to $520, Prion will claim ownership of your wrapped ETH to cover the cost of your $500 loan plus an additional $20 fee to ensure that the stablecoin you borrowed is over collateralized. This is the risk of collateralized loans. That is, if the value of your collateral drops to a certain threshold, you will lose ownership of it in order to cover or pay back what you had borrowed. You as the user will then only be left with what you had borrowed, 
which in this example is $500, since Prion has now used your collateral to close your loan. Again, this is just an example, but hopefully it helps you better understand how this works. Thankfully, there are ways to minimize your liquidation risk. First, if you borrow less, then it becomes less likely that the value of your collateral will drop to the liquidation threshold. Second, you can wait until your collateral appreciates in value and or deposit more collateral. And thanks to Prion having cross-margin lending, all collateral deposited can help stabilize your entire portfolio. Third, you can simply repay some or all of the amount that you borrowed. Borrowing from stablecoins also reduces the risk of liquidation because stablecoins are structured to maintain a constant value of $1. However, the risk of liquidation still exists when using stablecoins as collateral because, as we all know, there is always a non-zero risk that a stablecoin can depeg below $1. Stablecoin LPs are even less risky than individual stablecoins. This is because the stability of one token within the LP will help support the other in the event of a temporary DPEG. This is because each token within the LP is responsible for 50% of the value of that LP. As an example, let's say you have an LP of 50 cents each of USDC and DAI. With both USDC and DAI pegged to $1, the value of the LP will be $1. Now, if the price of USDC stays at $1, but the price of DAI temporarily depegs to $0.96, cents, the stability of USDC will reduce the impact of the DAI depeg on the value of the LP. Again, more stability and less risk of liquidation for stablecoin LPs compared to individual stablecoins. Now, what you do with your loan is entirely up to you. You are free to do with it what you best see fit for your financial needs. One option for what you can do with that loan is convert it into more of the same collateral that you had initially deposited. You can then deposit that new amount again and repeat in a process called leveraging. So for our example, with $1,000 wrapped ETH as collateral and a loan of $500, you could swap your borrowed $500 for more wrapped ETH and deposit that new $500 of wrapped ETH into Prion, which then allows you to borrow even more. This loop can be repeated a number of times. There are risks and benefits of leveraging that are important to be aware of, but that will be a topic for a follow-up video. Now, even if you're only understanding a small percentage of the information I'm sharing with you, that is okay. This is an entirely different paradigm from traditional finance, and there is a lot to learn. Active participation and baby steps are key to building your understanding, and we're here to help. Please ask questions and keep taking action because it is well worth it. The best place to reach out for help or contact us is through the Sphere Finance Discord. The link is in the description below, as well as links to the official website and other useful links, including for Dystopia and Penrose. You can also leave a comment below with your question and we will do our best to help educate you and the community. After all, this video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. I'll continue to post updates and educational videos about Sphere Finance, so be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out. Click the link on screen now to watch another video. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are.